with Seeds of Change. And today we're out in the cornfield and I wanted to talk to you about the anatomy of the corn plant. So here at the top we have the tassel. This produces the pollen. You can see when I shake it all the pollen coming down. The tassel of this plant has just recently formed and it will drop pollen down onto the ears as soon as they set their silks out. You can see two just beginning ears. First you see the tassel, then you see the baby ears. These ears are just forming and don't yet have any silks. But this ear over here already has a silks. If you have problems with the corn earworm, now is the time to put a dropper to of corn oil on the tip of the silks. That prevents the corn earworm from climbing in through the silks and getting down in. Each stalk has a primary ear, a secondary ear, and sometimes if you're lucky you'll get a, a third ear. These will mature later. Ooh, look at those sweet corn ears. The silks are out and they're starting to turn slightly brown. We've only got a couple more weeks to wait. Let's see if we can find some ripe ears of corn. The silks are completely brown and dry on this ear and I'm squeezing it. I can feel the kernels are plump inside there and it's plump all the way to the tip. This is the primary ear. There's a secondary ear down here. It's not quite as far along, but that one might be ready too. I feel the kernels are plump. Let's pick some and see. This is a beautifully ripe ear of corn. On these perfectly ripe ears of corn, you can see that the kernels are plump in straight rows and filled all the way to the tip. Wow. Porque cuando tiene el, el pelo negro, negro en cuando aquí está un poco blando, arriba, está un poco blando, está ready, listo. This is a secondary ear, it's the second ear down on the stalk, and it's smaller. This one was not quite ripe yet. Here you can see that the kernels at the tip have not plumped out and you can see that the kernels going along the main line here have quite a big gap in between the rows. So they could really plump out and fill in some more. The tip has just been started to be eaten here by a corn earworm and this golden greeny sandy looking stuff is the corn earworm frass and frass is really just a polite word for caterpillar poo. So if you're squeamish about caterpillars and you want your corn organic, you just cut off the tip before you look at that little part. You can uh, bring it in the kitchen and use a knife or you can just use your clippers right there. All right. This ear got very well pollinated though. You can see that it's every kernel is present and nice straight rows. Here you see the full spectrum from a poorly pollinated secondary ear on the left with very few kernels to a gorgeous fully mature ear on the right with nice plump succulent kernels. Oh this really could have matured a couple more days but we're hungry now and Fresh corn just picked is an unbeatable flavor that you never forget. For more great organic gardening tips, visit seedsofchange.com.